Hey guys, it's Dan Dan Russell fan here. Thank you guys for showing up and spending part of your holiday with us over here at DWF. That was so awesome. So awesome to see how many people joined. We are we actually were kicking it around. We're gonna try and do a live event once a month. I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna look like yet. Um, we really, really had a ton of fun doing the question and answer. That was, oh, that was just so much fun. You guys made me feel like such a huge YouTuber, right? Like, that was just a cool experience being live with you, talking with you guys. You guys gave up part of your holiday to spend some time with us. That meant so much to me, especially with the loss of my brother and everything the family is going through right now. It was just, it was huge to have you guys there and be such a wonderful part of my holiday and make it a little less painful. So guys, thank you so, so much. I do appreciate that so, so much. So to kick off season three over here on the DWF, we're gonna start the way we went out with a figure haul review. How about it? We've got ourselves Terry Gordy. We've got ourselves a Dom Dom Mysterio. How about a Hit Brett the Hitman Hart? Maybe we'll check out this very sick Rey Mysterio. Finally, they made this an elite. They made a Mysterio, Rey Mysterio in an elite form. So happy. I'm very excited. I hope this figure doesn't let me down because this is the one I'm most excited for. Let's check out this sick John Cena returning to us. And finally, how about the NWO Macho Man Randy Savage? How about that? That that's a pretty good lineup to kick off the uh, the start of the new season, right? That we've got two ultimates in here from different sets. That just two legend ultimates. And now with John Cena in his retirement announcement, soon to be legendary John. I mean, John, John Cena is already a legend, right? We can call him that, even though he's been making appearances and not officially retired. I think we can call him a legend. I think that's safe to say. So let's get everyone opened out of their boxes, all their parts and pieces set up here, and. Let's start reviewing some figures. What do you say? Wait, did did I hear someone say no? Leave them in the boxes forever? Okay, let's leave them in the boxes forever. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! No, I'm just kidding. We're going to open them. You know what we like to do over here. Goof around a little. All right, guys, we are back. But before we take a look at these figures, let's give a shout-out to X-Prime Blue. That's the, the flavor of the day is X Prime Blue with these really cool like blue and purple holographic looking letters. I don't know if that means it's a special bottle or a rare bottle or what. I don't know. It's it's cool. But uh, we, we did get another one. Let me grab that one quick. Also grabbed X Prime Blue with the white letters because I didn't know if it was different flavors or just the different... Bottles. So we have X Prime Blue, white letters, and the shiny letters. We also grabbed the white and shiny lettered pink ones. I just didn't put the regular ones. I didn't put these in the fridge yet, so they will stay. Uh, I figured let's try the shiny one first. See what we looks like. It's a clear, just a completely clear Prime. I think they're all good so far. What we've had, they've been pretty good. Let's see. Let's here's the sip. Oh, wow. That is... Is this the energy drink one? Like, not the can one, but is this like the bottled energy drink? That definitely has an energy drink kind of flavor to it. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what flavor that is. It tastes like energy. That, <laughs> I don't know what flavor to call that. Any stinking ways, moving along, set the prime to the side. Guys, the figure I was most excited to open, I opened the top and noticed something about this figure. We are missing the other side of the mask here. You can see the purple side over here is a little eagle on the side. On this side, it is missing. So... I'm going to reach out to ringside to see if we can get uh, this figure swapped out and maybe we'll just uh, have a quick review on that. I, I really wanted to get it. I was so excited to get into this figure. Uh, you can see it's still in here. We didn't take it out of the block. We opened the top up here and we pulled it out, pulled the plastic sleeve out, um, but we didn't take him out. I'm just a little disappointed that we're missing the 
sign piece to the mask because I shook the box around and I didn't see it in there anywhere. Uh, so it didn't like, not like it fell off. I didn't see it on the figure anywhere. I'm like, well, I'm not going to take this out if I'm going to be sending it back. So I thought, oh, maybe it just fell off. We can glue it back in. No problem. So a little disappointed. This is the one I was most looking forward to. Obviously you can see he's supposed to have it. <laughs> um, so a, a little disappointed. I was very, very looking much looking forward to this figure, but we did get some other sweet figures here. So let's get into them, shall we? Set this back up here, and first we are going to take a look at this from the vault, John Cena. Oh my goodness. You want to talk about one of the best John Cena figures to ever own? This would be it. You've got the shoes. You've got the spinner championships that, guys, they do spin. This The U.S. title definitely spins better than the uh, champion, the... WWE Championship is still kind of rough to spin. It spins, it's just still kind of rough, you know. You've got the chains, you've got the dog tags, the big shirts, the hat, the sweatbands, and the jorts. You've got it all. Like, this is just a great Cena. Absolute amazing figure. It poses around really nice from what I got to pose so far. Put him back in his package stance just because this... This says it best. He's got his two item holding hands slash title holding hands slash mic holding hands, whatever you want to call them. His ankles are a little bit loose. That's the only thing, but it only seems to be in this pose because when I pose him around in other ways, he's not as bad. He also comes with these two Rock'em Sock'em Cena fists. So there you have it. This figure is really, really great. Out of all the Cenas I have, this is easily my favorite because this is my favorite era Cena. Uh, we love Chain Gang Cena, Word Life Cena. This one is probably going to earn a... I think this is a 9.5 out of 10 figure. This is just such a solid, solid action figure. This is great. Even if you just want like a guy in the crowd, if you want a crowd guy, this could be your Cena crowd guy. You know, it's got... Oh, look how good this Cena is. This is easily favorite Cena. Easily favorite Cena I own. And I love... I love my Chain Gang NWO Cena. Such a good Cena, but this is like this is top gear Cena. Yeah, this gets a 9 9.5 out of 10. That's the highest ranking any figure has gotten in DWF season 3. Just so you guys know, just just throwing that out there. Next, let's move into the other elite here I want to get to, which is Dom Dom Dirty Dom. He's got his open mic holding, item holding hands, and he's got his two little Dominic fist -em ups right? So when he goes to jail, he can he can fight off anyone trying to get to him. Uh, he's got his awesome, awesome shirt. I really don't want to move this Dominic f at all. I want to leave this exactly as is because I'll let you guys in on a little hint. Series 109 just arrived not too long ago at my house. I forgot that I ordered Series 109. So we have an extra Dominic Mysterio because <laughs> I went out and bought this and forgot that I had Series 109 on the way. So we have an extra Dom Dom. So we're going to keep this one as is. Uh, don't want to touch this, this Dom here. Going to just leave him as is. So I didn't pose this one around at all. I literally just took this out of the packaging, left it as is, and was like, oh, that's right. I have Series 109 to review eventually. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. I just wanted everyone from Series 109. Apparently, I wanted Dominic so much, I bought him twice. But really good figure. Great figure. Love this shirt. May reuse this shirt later. Um, may reuse a lot of this later. This may be a good uh, fix-up figure for me later, but for now, want to leave him as is, untouched. Just put him on the shelf like this uh, in my little Dominic, or my Judgment Day collection. I don't have a Dominic collection because this is only like the second or third Dom figure I have. So, just going to add this to my Judgment Day shelf. This Dominic is going to get, for right now, I'm going to give this one a solid, let's say a solid 8. The likeness is there. I haven't tried to pose him around at all yet, so I don't know how he feels and poses and plays. Um, so, I, I just think an 8 is going to be fair for now. Uh, until we do the Series 109 review and really get into it, take it apart, see if all his tattoos are there, how well he stands, balances. I do all the fun stuff off camera. Now we're going to move into some Ultimates, and let's first look at this Bret Hart. Oh my goodness, what a figure. This is... Oh, 
I'm not a big Bret Hart guy, but this figure makes me a big Bret Hart guy. You know, I'm not I'm not one of the wild uh, hitmen people. The only complaint I'm going to give this figure is the joints are very, very stiff. Like, it is so hard to bend that elbow. That is that is a workout to bend that elbow. It could just be this. You guys see it's pulling the boot away before it's trying to bend the knee. Just to bend the knee. It could just be my figure. Um, however, I do find that this a lot of the times isn't the case. It's usually just a figure thing. Um, bending the elbows just so he could hold the championship was, was tough. You know, it's not an easy figure to pose around. Um, but that's the only complaint. Obviously, I put the hair dryer on this guy. Get him loosey-goosey. Bend him around a good bit to get those joints broken in. As he's cooling, you guys know, keep bending your joints and stuff on your figures as they're cool. If you have this issue, you keep bending the joints as they're cooling. Just kind of keep playing with that figure uh, until all the joints are, are pretty loose. <clears throat> and then whenever it does cool down back to its normal temperature, the joints are going to be a lot more loose for you. Easy posability. In case you guys didn't know, now you know. Just, you know, throwing out a, a little a little quick tip there for you. Um the heads, I don't really love these heads for him. I don't think these are the best Bret Hart head. Well, this one in particular, I don't think is the, is the greatest. It looks like him, but it also looks like Scott Hall to me. I don't know. There's This one looks way more Bret Hart. And then this one, of course, looks really good Bret Hart, especially when you throw the shades on there. Um, but yeah, I think these two are the better of the heads that you get you get three heads with this figure this is the one that comes on the figure i just I, I don't know maybe it was the angle i looked at it it looked like scott hall more than brett or maybe about the same as bret hart i saw a little bit of column a little column b you also get your jacket off wrestling gear arms plus you get the two item holding hands he comes with plus his two rock'em sock'em fists and his two slap the taste out of your mouth hands so we get all the wonderful bells and whistles with this Bret Hart. Everything you want in an ultimate figure. You get this sick, sick, awesome leather jacket. So, so good. You can take the leather jacket off to give him these extra arms, to give him his wrestling gear. You got the three heads that every ultimate seems to come with, and then a billion hands that we don't really even need anymore. I should just stop collecting these, but, you know, there's something about collecting them and at least putting a couple pairs of hands on these arms and then I can throw the other two that I don't use away uh just because I I really don't need any more hands you guys know what the hand collection looks like I think I'm sure I've showed it off a couple times now let's go into this macho man who surprisingly might be the best figure we're going to be looking at today could be could be well that's up to to the viewers uh you know everyone decides on their own oh we forgot to rate our Bret Hart because of the stiff joints, that's going to knock off a few points. I'm going to give this thing, I'm going to give it a 7, because we had the one head that didn't really scream Bret Hart to me, uh, and then the joints being stiff, man, that's, because now I've got to put work into it. You know, it's not much, you know, you, you put a little bit of time into the hair dryer, so it's not much. I'm not, I don't want to complain about this figure, because it is a good figure, but we're going to give this a solid 7. I think this is what it deserves. I do feel bad ranking this lower than the Dominic, but to be fair, I didn't truly review the Dominic the way that I normally do, because when I realized I had 109 sitting, I'm like, I I don't want to touch this guy yet. So, Dominic's at a, an unfair 8. Brett is at a solid, I think, well-deserved 7. Uh, but he does come with the wing, the Eagle Championship that we love, so... Maybe we'll give him a, we'll give him a seven point five. How about that? We'll we'll be fair. I don't want to screw Brett. Uh, you know, the way that, I, I can already hear the comments now. You're screwing Brett. You're screwing Brett. Just like WWE, right? Uh, no, I, we'll give him a seven point five. He's got the. It, it's it's a. I will I will say this. This is the Brett, best Brett Hart figure that I own. How about that? And I think a seven point five is very fair for the figure out of the box the way we received it this doesn't mean it's your ranking this is just my ranking for what i have to go off of so we'll give him a 7.5 i think that is a solid ranking for him at this point let's move into this nwo 
Macho Man. And the only thing you can say about this is, oh yeah! Uh, this is just an awesome, awesome Macho Man. Now, that doesn't mean I don't have complaints about this one. We have this... <laughs> I don't know why he's like half smiling, a head sculpt. Like, this just looks so awkward to me. So, we're going to lose points on that. Also, his waistband, the Macho Madness waistband is... It's really cool, but this is incredibly tight to get on. You guys can see that this thing is kind of like... It almost looks like it's sculpted on there, which... I don't know if I would say I'd rather them just sculpt it on there, but it it is a it is a tight fit. If you guys can see how that rubber is just stretching and trying to pull away, it's trying to open right now because it is just a tight fit to get that on there. Um, but that being said, that's probably the only knocks I have against this figure. Again, look look how it's very smooth with your movement on this, your joints move very easily. There's no hassle getting his joints to move. Just, you know, things I like to check out on my figures before I do my review process. The shirt is amazing. Love this Madness NWO shirt. You also get these other two heads. The tongue out head is just funny and this weird like half smile. It's just like the facial hair and everything looks messed up on this, right? The beard and everything. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm too judgy. I don't know. You get these wonderful item holding hands. And then the only other hands you get are the slap them hands. You don't get any closed fist, uh, you know, knock somebody out fist. You just get the slap them up hands. But you do get this other awesome jailbreak shirt. You know, just another great shirt for your Macho Man if you don't like the madness. I don't know why you would ever take this one off, to be honest. This one's, this one's okay. Like, I, I like it, but I don't know if I'm ever going to change him out of this Madness shirt. This is just so... Madness NWO shirt is just so, so good. The pants and everything. I kind of want to get a couple more of these figures just to do some customs with them. Uh, as NWO is one of my all-time favorite factions. Uh, I love the Macho Man gear. In the, uh, this is just... Oh, it's so, so well done. So good. Love this figure a lot. I can't say enough good about this. Even though there are the flaws, like I said, the, the waistband is incredibly tight. Um, I'm just afraid of this snapping in either either just coming undone all the time to the point that I'm never going to be able to get it to stay again. Uh, because I do intend to use this figure in the pick fed. So maybe I just have to pick up another Macho Man to keep one in prime condition and keep one with the belt off. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll use that for the pick fed and then keep one with the belt on. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But, uh, you know, this is the Macho Man I want. Oh, the other thing is this head that it came with was very loose on the peg. Like the head was, you know, just a little too big. Uh, however, the head we have on now is very good. It's wherever you set it, it tends to stay. Uh, the other one was just really loose. You got the headband, you got the glasses, that's the other thing. You do get the bandana and the glasses, as well as the waistband. So, solid, solid ultimate figure. I think with the with the waistband issue, the head likeness and joint issue, we're going to give this guy an 8 out of 10. Uh, just because I, I think the accessory, the, the head is just not, I don't know, that's not doing it for me, especially when it was loose and wobbly. That, you know, got to take a point off for that. And I think this waistband just being so as tight as it is, I'm just, I'm afraid it's going to break or get loosened to the point where I can't put it back on if I want to keep it on. So we're going to take two points off for that, giving that thing an 8 out of 10. But that being said, it is the best Macho Man we have in our collection today. Any stinking ways, let's move right along, guys. Time to get to, let's coin the phrase now, a sweet treat elite. That's right, we've got a sweet treat elite right here in front of us. This Terry Gord, the executioner, if you will. This thing might as well be a flippin' ultimate with all the accessories and stuff you give him. What an amazing figure. Uh, oh, this thing is darn near perfect. You know, you've got the jumpsuit, which incredible. So he has trunks 
uh, knee pads and boots on under this. I just went ahead and put the uh, jumpsuit and stuff, because this is how I'm going to use him in the pick fed. I just don't know where he's going to end up yet, how he'll be used yet, but guys, we're going to have an executioner. I mean, sometimes people in the rosters, you know, you got to get cut. In this case, we've got the halberd for the cutting. Uh, <laughs> so he, he comes with a, his um, tights, his wrestling trunks, and knee pads right here are the knee pads. You can't see them with the jumpsuit on, and his boots. Then off to, the, off to the side, he does come with this head sculpt uh, originally. Off to the side, you do have the executioner cowl and cape, as well as this jumpsuit or leotard underneath. Um, obviously, this is how I wanted my figure set up, so this is how we set him up. I, he does have these little holes on the, or little armbands in his cape, so you can pose him around with his cape. I only put the one in, so that way you could see here on the figure what it looks like. So we put the one in for demonstration purposes. You can see when he raises his arm, it will move your figure. So this is incredible for doing pick feds and stuff that we are really going to start to get into this season. Absolutely incredible figure for that. You can put the cowl down and you've got the masked head here of the executioner himself. Put that back up. It's just, you know, fun, cool, scary. You've got this really sick halberd. Um... I'm enjoying some weaponry in with the figures lately. You know, like Triple H gets his bat or his sledgehammers. Sting gets his bats. Um, Drew McIntyre with the Claymore. And now we get Terry Gordy with this halberd. That is really, really nice. Uh, just for people who maybe might not be wrestling figure fans or just wrestling fans in general might see these and be like, oh, I could pick this up for... Uh, my kid's birthday because he wants an executioner figure for his knights or something or whatever it is you know someone might find these and be like man the articulation on these are so great and next thing you know boom you've got a new wrestling figure fan if not a new wrestling fan you never know or someone who might be like oh terry gordy i really don't want this figure but look at all the accessories now i want to grab this figure and add it to my collection who's to say Anyway, he's got his two Rock'em Sock'em fist hands that he comes with, and then two item holding hands that obviously I had to add one to give him the halberd. We might add the second one, that way he can hold it, you know, with both hands, and we'll be able to hold the halberd. Uh, I think that's the way to go. This figure, guys, is, it's going to get a 10 out of 10. This pose is great. It has so many accessories and pieces for an elite figure. Like, like I said, this could be... This could absolutely be an Ultimate Edition figure uh, with all the accessories that it comes with. I just think because Terry Gordy is not the biggest name in wrestling, you know, let's slap him in the Elite line, throw all these accessories in here, and you've got a banger of a figure. This could also be in the top 10 figures of the year. I truly think it could. Just the... The posability is great, as the elites have been lately with these double-jointed arms. Just makes them top-tier incredible. But just the amount of stuff that you get with this figure, and the fact that, you know, we when are we going to see a Terry Gordy figure again? Probably? I can't imagine we will, actually. I, I, can't, I can't imagine this is ever going to show up again, even if with new formulas and stuff like that. We're never going to get this Terry Gordy again. Um... So I just think this thing is top tier, 10 out of 10 for me. I already have multiple storylines I want to add him to. Um, I, I really want to keep him with, with Kane and Undertaker, and then they have their Executioner. So obviously we want to add him. I think that would be a great spot for him. I also really think maybe changing up some color schemes here and making him the Executioner for the Judgment Day. I don't know, what are you guys thinking? Seeing him on Battling Blue? Uh, you know what? Battling Blue might be making some moves here. We might be trading some high draft picks to get Kane and Undertaker over to us. Get them on Battling Blue's roster. That's going to be coming up very soon, guys. You guys know we got to do the roster reviews. See uh, how Battling Blue, Gut Wrench Green, Powerbomb Purple, and Pink Punch did. See what you guys think. Vote on your favorite roster because obviously the way we work over here, whoever gets the most votes on their roster gets the first point of the season. That's how it goes, guys. That's how it goes. We still have some undrafted uh, characters. 
and we may just leave them as free agents just in case, you know, someone doesn't work out. If, uh, you know, some, some characters get swapped around. We've got some new rules in play for this season. Uh, I didn't tell the other members as they drafted their teams yet, mostly because I didn't have the rules until literally about a day ago. <laughs> uh, I came up with a new rule set I wanted to imply to the new season. So we've got some new stuff, some fun stuff coming up. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today and checking out these figures with us. Uh, did I get any of these drafts wrong? Would you, or not drafts, these uh, predictions, what, I'm not predictions, what am I saying? Rankings wrong. Did I rate a figure too low? Did I screw Brett in this one? I don't think so. I think we gave him a pretty solid, seven and a half is a really good spot for that figure. Had the joints been perfect, like a normal Ultimate Edition figure, he'd be looking at like an 8.5. So... I, I think we did good by Brett here. Um, the only one, maybe Dominic's a little high. He's probably honestly like a 7, but I just wanted to be fair uh, since I didn't go into my normal review like I do want to figure and really check him out and see what's what. I didn't even take the shirt off of him or the mask, so I don't know. Did they mess up his face? Who knows? We'll find out when we do our Series 109 review. But any stinking ways, guys. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Here comes the music. <laughs>